heard the bell, so you know what time it is. It is gym time. <laughs> That's right, boys and girls. It is week 15, and we are going to get started with our next lesson in football and gymnastics this week. Yes! Okay, so this week I'm going to talk about real quickly what's going to be in the folder, and then we'll get into doing some of the activities. First things first, um, our, first our first video is going to talk about football. This week we're doing throwing and catching. So we're going to do a couple routes and we're going to uh, talk about some plays that you guys can do at home, in your basement, in your backyard, in your driveway, in your bedroom, whatever you so choose. So I'm going to run a couple routes, make a couple catches. Hopefully, if I'm lucky today, I'll catch it. Maybe I'm Butterfingers, I don't know, we'll find out. But uh, we'll run a couple plays and a couple routes, we'll talk about that. Secondly, in this lesson is going to be gymnastics. Now, um, I had a special request um, from some students at Oakman um, that wanted gymnastics, so I put it in there this week. There are a few documents in the lesson folder some basic shapes or stances in gymnastics that you can do. This one is how to do a bridge kickover. That's a really tough one, but you can try it. Some are some of the basic shapes. And then I also put a document in there with different pictures of different gymnastics stunts that you can try to do at home. Now, these stunts, some of them might be a little dangerous because you're like standing on top of somebody's knees and stuff like that. So make sure number one, you practice safety and you do it in a safe spot, like some carpet or something or by the bed or something. Number two, make sure you have permission to do these. Don't go trying these without getting permission first because I don't want anyone to get injured. I don't want anybody's mom or dad calling me saying, Mr. L, my son bumped his head because he was trying your gymnastics stuff and he didn't tell me. So make sure number one, you're in a safe spot. Make sure number two, you get permission to do them. Capiche? Capiche. Okay, so these are the documents. That's what's in the folder. I am going to start going over in the football unit and uh, talking about plays and routes. But just before that, before I do, I want to mention, you guys should be trying uh, for the workout, for the warm-up portion, the 30-day challenge of the HIT workout. Now remember, HIT workout stands for High Intensity Interval Training. There's 30 days worth. This is in there. There's a different activity, a different exercise, a different warm-up for every single day. This happens to be, I think, like day number eight or day nine, and that's the day that would be like for Monday. So this is just an example of what it is. It tells you everything to do. So the document has your warm up, the video is telling you what to do, and then you have all your lessons, okay? So that's this week's folder. Let's get started with football. I'm going to move the computer over to here, and I'm going to talk about, real quickly, what are plays or what are routes. In football, when you say hike, do people just run around crazy, crazy? No, it's got to be organized, right? The quarterback is the person who throws the ball. He has to know where his players are going in order to make a successful pass so that they can move the ball down the field. So we run what are called routes. Receivers run something called a route or a player on offense. Remember, offense is the team that has the ball. So, in order to score a touchdown, you run a route, you make a pass, you complete it, and then you try to score. So, these are routes. Each of these is a pattern that you guys are going to try at home. You might need an extra person in order to try these. You could run the routes just by themselves if you don't have someone to throw you the ball. So, you can just practice running the routes. If you have an extra player, like a friend, a parent, or a sibling, somebody who can throw you the ball, then you can run the route and try to make catches, try to catch passes. So the first one is an example of like an out route because you would run up and out like towards the sideline on a football field. Another example would be like a post route. This is called a post route because the receiver runs up and then he starts running towards the goal post, which is in the middle of the field in the back of the end zone. So it's called a post route because you run up and then slant towards the goal post, okay? The next one, um, I'll try, try to tell you another one. This is a shortened route. This one would be a button hook or a fish hook route. So you run up 
and curl back towards the ball. So I would run like this, I would turn back to the ball, they would catch the pass. So that's called a hook route, or a button hook, or a J hook, or a fish hook, whatever you want to call it, many different names, but that's a hook route. So different routes have different names, but you're going to try these at home with, like I say, one extra player. You're gonna to try to run each of these seven routes and see if you can complete the passes. If I run an out route and I complete it, I get three points. If I run the post route and I complete it, I get another three points. So I'll keep my total at the end of all seven routes and see how many points I score. My goal is seven routes times three points would be 21 points. 21 points is like three touchdowns in a football game. So, I'm gonna show you an example of a route. I'm gonna turn the camera. I'm gonna run a route. Hopefully I don't have butterfingers. I make a catch on the football pass and I'll do maybe three routes as an example and then it'll be your guys' turn to start participating in this week's gym. Here we go. I'm gonna move the camera. I have a partner here. I am going to run an out route. So I'm gonna run about five to 10 yards and I'm gonna break left as if I was on a football field. An out route, so it would be up and out towards the sideline. Here we go. My quarterback will say hike, hike. I run up about five, 10 yards, and I bring it out to the sideline, he throws me the pass, and I caught the ball. So, my first out route is a completion that's worth three points for me. My second route, I am going to run a post route. I'm gonna run up, and towards the middle of the field, like underneath the basketball rim, because that would be like the goal post on a football field, and we'll see if I can catch it. So my QB will say, hike, hike, I run up, and I break towards the goal post, he throws me the ball, and we catch like Calvin. That's another three points, that's six points for me. I'll run one more just to show you guys. Uh, quarterback, which one do we want to run? We'll run the hook route. Okay, so I'm gonna run the fish hook because I love fishing. Fishing is like one of my favorite activities. So we're gonna run the fish hook. My QB will say hike. Hike. I run up and I curl fish hook. He throws me the ball. It's another completion. That's another three points. So this is the example of running routes, running plays to be successful in a football. Check out this football. It's actually good place right on it. Super cool. So this is our week 14 folder, or week 15 folder actually, excuse me. Um, gymnastics, football, run some routes, do the hit workout, get active, get outside, and uh, well if it's not too cold, get outside, and uh, hopefully you like it. All right guys, see you next week.